Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to deal with layouts in Next.js. In this episode, we're going to deal with single layout. In the next episode, we will deal with multiple layouts or nested layouts in Next.js. Now, Let's go to our pages folder. You're in your pages folder, you will see this underscore app.js file right here, this one. All right, now this file is very, very important because every component that you create inside your pages folder right here is gonna go through this component right here, okay? So as you can see, it receives a component, then it returns that component with its props. Okay, so that means that we can put a layout on this component and persist it through all the different pages that we're going to receive. Okay, so how do we create a layout? Let's go to our components folder right here and create a new file. And we're just going to call this one layouts.js. All right, so let's quickly create that component. So I'm just going to create an arrow function component. You can create a normal function. Totally, totally up to you. All right, so as you can see, we return the layouts right here. But what I will do, let's just quickly do this. All right, so what is important in here is you need to receive children. Okay, so if we basically, let's say we come in here. So whatever the children needs to be rendered in this component right here. Okay, so let's just give it on the class right here. Let's give it a class. I'm just going to keep this quite simple for you guys. For now, we just want to see the effect of what we're doing. So I'm just going to say background blue of maybe 50. Right, and in here, I'm just going to create another div. Um, because since we're using Tailwind, so I'm just going to give this a max width of, let's say, XL. So XL, and then just padding the X axis of 8 and MX Auto to center everything. Okay, so let's just do that. Okay, so that's the div that we're gonna have in there. All right, and now what we can do is we can render other components also in our layout. So let's quickly go to our components file right here and let's just create a simple nav.js, okay? So in here, I'm just gonna create another component and I'm just, this is my nav, so I'm just gonna create a nav right here. And I'm just going to create a UL and inside this allies. And actually, you know what will be better in here is if we bring in our import link from next link. Right, so that's our link bring brought in. So I can just render it right here and just put an anchor tag. And here, I'm just going to say home. Okay, and I'm just going to copy this down a couple of bits and then just say about, just as an example. Right, so what is important, the href mustn't be on your anchor tag. That comes onto the link itself. Right, so let me just do that. But what I will do is, since I haven't created all the other pages yet, I just want them to go to the home page. Just as an example. For us, so, all right, I'm not going to do the footer because I want to keep this simple because I want to expand actually on the next episode when we deal with the multiple layouts, I'm just going to build it out and flesh it out a little bit more. All right, so let's go in our layouts here. What we're going to do is we're going to import that nav. All right, so let's import that nav. As you can see, it brings it in right there for me. So in here now, I can just render that nav. Okay, so now our nav is in here. Now, Underneath this, what I will do is I will actually set up another div. Let me just do this. Another div for the children to be rendered. Right? So whatever children we need to be rendered is going to go between these tags. And I just want to give it a margin top of six, let's say eight. And yeah, just like that. Just simple. Very, very simple. All right, so now in order to use this layout that we just created, let's go to our app.js file right here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put two, two parentheses and I'm just going to cut this one out and I'm just going to put it in there. All right, so just for now. Right, now that this is our component right here. Now let's quickly bring in our layout. So let's import our layout. Uh, let's just call it layout. 
as you can see, it, it highlights it for me right there. So I'm just going to do that. So it's bringing in my layout from that components layout. So if I go in here now, so what will happen? So I'll put my layout in here and I can just render this component. So basically, this file right here, this one right here is a child of our layout. As you can see, I defined layout. So let me just do it like that. So as you can see, this will be the child of that layout. Okay, so the layout is the parent of the component. Now, if we go in here, you will see our nav bar in there and you can see that blue color. Let's make it something a little bit more ridiculous so it stands out a little bit better. All right, so let's say 500. So as you can see, that's how we can create a single layout. Obviously, we can do it a little bit better. But I just wanted to do it for simplicity's sake so that we can just see the effect of the layout. Now, what will happen now is there's a, a tree structure in Next.js what will happen. So what we will see is we will see our layout like this, okay? Then a layout at the bottom. And then we will see our component being rendered like this, okay? So our component at the moment is our index page. So our index. Um, just put it like this index page will be rendered like this okay between those two now the reason why i'm showing you this this is very important because i will discuss this a little bit more in depth in the next episode because what we want to do is with regards to all of this is when we deal with multiple layouts if we put it, our layout inside our component, let's say we go, went here and we actually change this to layout. So like this, what will happen now is you, we will have our app.js actually being on the outside and then our layout on the inside. But I will discuss this a little bit more in depth when we get there. I'm just, just kind of rumbling right now, but I will discuss this in a little bit more in depth when we deal with multiple layouts. All right. So I just want to say thank you guys for actually being here. I'd appreciate you guys for actually supporting the channel. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and do all the YouTube stuff. And if you have any questions, or suggestions, please leave them for me in the comment section. And I'll gladly help you guys out if I can. And thank you guys and see you in the next one. Adios.